All right, here's a video on uh, how I mounted in the uh, Speedway uh, Hydraulic uh, Universal uh, Conversion Kit. Uh, step one was to not use the pedal. Step two was not to use the clutch master it came with, but instead uh, use one I had from when the Coyote V8 was in the uh, RX-7. And because uh, it has a remote reservoir, as you can see it there, and this is how uh, labor intensively I uh, I installed in this this master. Um, that's just where it's attached to, and uh, that's where the pedal is. Uh, the brake's a little farther in because it's not mounted, but I get full throw on about so four inches of of pedal travel to the full inch and a half on the uh, the master. And this is a uh, 0.87 uh, or 0.813, can't remember. Uh, I'll show it later in the video, uh, master. So yeah, I'll uh, I'll show you the little bracket I had to make and everything else. Just wanted to show a video of it in place before I uh, take it all apart and start welding it. All right, we'll come back uh, when I have everything out. All right, so now we got the. Uh flash on. Yeah, you can see the uh, the bracket there. It's just a piece of uh, 3 16 by 2 flat bar that's been a uh, hole saw through the center and then some quarter inch bolts drilled through. Uh, it's not quite done yet. This is just for uh, tacking it into place and uh, when I take it out so nothing moves and I don't lose uh, orientation of it but uh, you know as you saw in the other video it sticks out to about here won't get in the way of the foot for the uh, gas pedal but uh, yeah I'm pretty happy with it I'll uh, paint everything up and then uh, finish bracing that up and then we'll uh, go for final install all right all right so now we're back uh, we have it out uh, this is the jack shaft or crossover shaft or whatever you want to call it that uh, mounts on it uh, or mounts above the brake booster. Pedal goes on this side. I'll just grab the pedal. There we go. Yeah, square drive on that. Fits on there. Uh, my advice if you're going to go through the work is to find a nut that threads on here that isn't a stover because you're going to have this pedal assembly in and out. Uh, you know, 10 to 15 times, I'd say it's a pretty easy estimate. Uh, there's a bunch... I think you're, you're rotating this from here to about here in, inside the car, and uh, that's going to require uh, you to cut off a lot of this bracket. I kept this so I could have more reinforcement. This is a 1 by one eighth flat bar that I've bent over, and uh, this is a 5 16 by 24 just fine thread uh, throttle cable adjuster or carburetor throttle cable or whatever it's from it's a generic part uh, our Alder Auto had it it's about ten dollars threads on to the end of the master which I had to trim down a tiny bit to get it to fit and then yeah it's it's really that simple uh, you know for you to do this you're gonna have to uh, you know, obviously you're going to need a welder, uh, you know, a grinder with a zip cut, and uh, more patience than uh, than money, or more drive to uh, spend, or waste your time on it than uh, spend money on it, so, yeah. Alright, we got the uh, clutch pedal in place, that's uh, brakes, uh, not connected to the, uh, the hydro boost yet, but uh, that's that's full throw. I will shove the camera up here, and hopefully it captures what you guys want to see. Yeah, you can see it uh, working. That's maxing it out. I don't get any flex in the bracket, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Yeah, so. 
If you're ever thinking of uh, swapping to hydraulic, you can uh, do it for pretty cheap because those Willwood Masters are locally here, oh, I think like 80 bucks. So in US, I'm probably looking at like a $40 master cylinder. And a lot more readily available for you than it is in Canada for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, you can do it for cheap. Just going to take you a lot of time and uh, a lot of frustration. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with it. If you uh, wanted to adjust the pedal angle, you can always cut it and re-weld it to uh, have a different angle because you do have an extra inch and a half uh, to go back farther without uh, maxing it out. So if you cut the pedal, brought it there, you'd hit the firewall, but you would maybe be nicer depending on where uh, you like to sit and pedal position in your car. So yeah, there we go. And for the uh, lines, I still have to go out and get a uh, remote reservoir, but it looks like I won't be using the uh, Speedway one. And I'll be uh, running probably reservoir line through here or through there, because one's for a cable and one was for uh, something else I can't remember right now. Uh, yeah, I'll have to uh, pull this back through and put that grommet on and uh, we will be done for uh, the pedals hopefully once I uh, install the bracket I got wherever it is for uh, I think it's in there for mounting the uh, gas pedal in we're set so yeah pretty productive uh, candidate day so far talk to you guys later